The wireless microphone system consists of three main components. There are a rack mount receiver, a wireless transmitting microphone, and antennas. There are two types of wireless transmitting microphones, a handheld or body pack. If you have the body pack option, it will come with some additional items, including a neoprene pouch, a lapel microphone, a head-worn microphone, and a referee muting switch. Both transmitters run off of batteries, which will need to be replaced periodically. The handheld battery compartment can be accessed by unscrewing the bottom cover. The body pack compartment can be accessed by sliding the battery compartment cover left or right and is found on the bottom side of the transmitter. Always have the transmitters in the off position when replacing batteries. For optimal performance of your system, attach the antennas as shown. They should be pointed outward at approximately 45 degrees. The next thing you will want to do is use the receiver's scanning function to find the clearest operating group and channel. Verify all transmitters are off and the receiver is on. Hold down the receiver set button and press the mode button once. The words group and scan will flash on the display. To begin scanning, rotate the control knob one quarter turn clockwise. The receiver will automatically begin scanning each channel in all groups. This may take up to two minutes and the word busy will appear on the display. Press the set button to select the group with the clearest channels after the scan is complete. If you want to change the channel within the group, press mode three times. Channel should be flashing on the display. Now rotate the control knob until the desired channel is shown on the screen. Press set to confirm the channel selection. Turn on the handheld by sliding the power switch found beneath the display up and into the on position. The power LED will illuminate green and the display will show battery status as well as the group and channel of the transmitter. Next we will need to set the group and channel to match the receiver. Press and hold the mode button until only the group number is visible on the transmitter display. Press the transmitter set button until it matches the group number on the receiver display. Next, press the transmitter mode button again to select the new group setting and move to the channel selection mode. The group number will disappear and only the channel number will be visible. Again, press the set button to advance to the desired channel number. Press the mode button again to select the new channel setting. The letters FRCH will appear briefly on the display, indicating the frequency has changed. Then, the new group and channel settings will appear. If your system has multiple wireless receivers, the groups will match and the channels will differ. Set the next receiver to be the same group by pressing the mode button twice. The word group will flash on the display. Rotate the scroll wheel to select the appropriate group and press the set button. Use the scroll wheel and the RF meter to find an open channel in that group. Then press the set button to select that open channel. Now, turn the body pack on by flipping the power switch found on the top of the transmitter to the on position. The power LED will illuminate green and the display will show battery status and the group and channel of the transmitter. We will need to set the group and channel to match the receiver. Press and hold the mode button until only the group number is visible on the transmitter display. Press the transmitter set button until it matches the group number on the receiver display. Now press the transmitter mode button again to select the new group setting and move to the channel selection mode. The group number will disappear and only the channel number will be visible. Again press the set button to advance to the desired channel number. Press the mode button again to select the new channel setting. The letters FRCH will appear briefly on the display, indicating the frequency has changed. Then the new group and channel settings will appear. Always turn the transmitter off before connecting or disconnecting components. The quarter wave flexible antenna is permanently connected to the body pack transmitter. Verify that the attenuator switch located on the side of the body pack is set to the 0 dB position when connected to a microphone. 
connect the mute switch to the body pack and turn the dial to the horizontal position so it points at the words locking. And then connect the microphone to the mute switch. Orient the microphone as shown, and keep in mind that the closer your mouth is to the microphone, the better signal quality you will have. Next, turn your transmitter back on and verify the mute button is in the down position. This means that your microphone is active. To verify proper communication and signal level, as well as battery life, look at the display on the front of your receiver. It will show you the group, channel, frequency, and battery life on the LCD display. To the left side of the display, there are two LEDs in the upper corner that signify what antenna is picking up your transmitter, A or B. Beneath that is two rows of LEDs, the left one showing your RF signal strength and the right one showing your audio level. Talk into your transmitter to verify audio level follows your speech. The top TX audio LED is red and should only illuminate momentarily when you speak loudly into the microphone. If necessary, adjust the transmitter gain with the supplied screwdriver until only the green and yellow audio LEDs on the receiver illuminate when you speak into the microphone. The gain on the handheld can be accessed by unscrewing the bottom cover. It is located just above the battery compartment. Adjust the knob clockwise to increase and counterclockwise to decrease the audio level. The gain on the body pack is found on the right hand side of the transmitter when looking at the LCD display. Adjust the knob clockwise to increase and counterclockwise to decrease the audio level.